Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorial Made Simple channel. In this video, we'll show you how to create a user interface that is being displayed, where there are two buttons for logging in using a Google account, and another button for logging in using an email account, with an animated background image. On the second page control tab, we will use it to enter a login using email. This is the first part of the video, which only focuses on user interface design. Regarding the program code, we will discuss it in the second and third parts of the video. Okay, let's start. Let's open the Delphi 10.4 Community Edition, select New, and then select Multi-Device Application, and then click Blank Application. It will come up with the blank form. Save the form and the project into a new directory. First, take the stylebook from the palette, place it on the form, then set the form stylebook properties. Put a tab control set to align client and tab position to none, as we will use this application for Android. Set the style to Android. Add two tab items. Put an image component and set the align properties to client. Next, add a layout component. Make sure that the layout is inside the image, then set the align to bottom. Also set the margin as shown. Add another layout inside the first layout. This one should be bottom. Put a button component into the second layout. Put a button component into the layout. The existing component stack should look something like this. Next add bitmap animation component. Put it inside image 1 component. In the structure, click on the bitmap animation and from its object inspector set the start value and end value properties with an image. I use free image from pexels.com. Set these two image as start and stop value. In object inspector, set the bitmap animation properties, enable and loop to true and duration to 15 seconds, and the animation type to in out. Let's compile and run it.
Hmm. The image doesn't appear. It seems there is something missing in the bitmap animation properties. Let's check. Oh yeah, this one. We need to set the property name to bitmap. Let's try again. The result is as expected. Now, we continue the design. Click on the button component and set the margin left and right to 30. Then click on the style of lookup properties, select color button style. Add a label component, place it inside the button component. Then let's arrange the label component and set the margin as shown. Next we need to add another button. Click on the layout containing the existing login button, press Ctrl and C, or right click, select copy, and then paste it on the outside bottom layout. Change the label text for each button as shown. Next we will add an edit component for username entry in the second tab. Click the dot near the bottom of the form. But before that we will create on click event for second button component, so that when the button is clicked, it will go to second tab. Just to ensure that we create on click event for the button, not the label. In the second page, we will need at least three layout component, two labels, one edit component, and one button component. Let's add the first layout. Then add another two layouts to the first layout.
Let's set the alignment layout. One layout is bottom, and the other is client. Next, add two labels and then set the text and style as shown. From the palette window, select an edit component, then put it on the bottom layout. Do the same for line and label component. Arrange the edit and label as child the line component, so that the label and line are inside the line component. Set the style and margin as shown. Now, let's see how it goes.
Next, we will add one more button. First let's add a layout. Set the align properties to bottom. Move it to the top layout as shown. Then put a button on it. Now, it's time to add an icon on the login button. By adding an image to each button, set the alignment as shown. Then we also add back and close buttons on the second tab item. By adding a layout, then set its align property to top. Then add two speed buttons.
On the left side speed button, in the style lookup properties, select arrow left tool button. On the right side speed button in the style lookup properties, select clear edit button. Okay, we are done for the first part of this tutorial. Let's see how it goes. Stay tuned for the second part. Thank you for watching.